Maybe I'll see you. I'll see you guys at Koryo's auditions on Thursday. I wanted to go to workshop too, but I really don't have time. The youngest in Koryo is Cynthia, and she's like 19, 18, 18 or 19. But she's a so she's a sophomore. She's the only one. Do I have tips on opening a dance cover account? Um. Hello. Just, um, well, first of all, don't suck. Second of all, if you do suck, then work really hard to get better. Record yourself a lot. And I would, I would say you need, you should post your dances even if you suck because it'll motivate you to get better. And maybe some people will give you some advice. Um, third thing I'd say is, third thing I'd say is, um, try not to focus on like the views too much because you're gonna get discouraged because it's really hard to get views unless you're really lucky somehow but um, the fourth thing a lot of people do this because they like um, they like they like following a bunch of other k-pop cover dancers and then trying to be fr become friends with them and sometimes it's fake which is really bad, but sometimes it's real. But even if it's real, it's really hard to keep up. Cause how are you gonna how are you gonna stay caught up with like hundreds of K-pop cover dancers on Instagram? Like you don't have time for that, or you shouldn't have time for that if you're if you're leading a productive life. So I would say, personally, I don't like following a bunch of other K-pop artists, or uh, I don't love I don't like following a bunch of other people on Instagram. If I'm not, like, unless I think, like, there's a good reason, like, if I want to be friends with them, like, legit friends, and I actually care to a certain degree, like, I don't want to be fake, for sure, that's definitely not my thing. But then, like, once you follow someone, it's really awkward to unfollow them, so make sure when you follow someone, it's like, you actually want to follow them. Yeah, but don't feel like you're going to have to always comment or like everything. I think that just sets up a system of fake support. Um, but I think... Yeah, I, I advocate for just getting better. And then maybe like dressing well or dressing... Because dressing up and like lip syncing and all that is part of covering, so do that well. Um, I just, I guess the best way, if you if you really want to get a lot of followers, honestly, the best way is to do the fake thing and support people and like follow back and do collabs. But I don't like that. And then, also, you should try to get noticed by like fan accounts so that they post your covers and then that's how you get a lot of followers because some fan accounts have like a million subs a million followers and then if they notice you then and they put you on their account then you get like thousands of followers at a time so that's what i would say i don't know it's really hard it's not i don't think people should do it for or people people can do it for for popularity or whatever, but I don't think it's sustainable if you do that. Music recommendations, everything I'm playing right now. Especially this song, because this song is Dreamcatcher. Even though Yujian doesn't have that many lines in the song. I 
I've never gone on a diet. I mean, my, my diet is a lifestyle, it's not a diet. I've never broken a bone. But I might have, I might have like permanently, permanently damaged my, my right shoulder, like ligament somewhere because, because I played tennis in high school. And then I, I injured myself, but then I kept playing. So I think I permanently damaged my right shoulder ligament a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. I only feel it when I, when I overwork it. My favorite girl group song in 2018, that's really hard. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe you and I by Dreamcatcher. I don't know what the question was, I forgot. It's been too long, I'm too far behind already. Yay, more in choreos. I don't know, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do anything though. I might just join and not be able to do that many covers. I mean, if you guys are 18, you can you can try it out for choreos, but I would say don't think that choreos, don't think that choreos is like that ultimate dance group, that like perfect dance group of friends who always gets along and there's no problem, and like everyone's really good. That's not how it works. Every every single group will have its problems. Um, all groups will have their problems and have their drama and. Um, Different people will be, some people will be better than others, and other people will um, care a lot less. Like, personally, I don't think, like, I'm not that good of a teammate in choreos because it takes way too long for me to drive, and I hate driving, so I don't go that, I don't go that much. And then when I do, like, I think this is a good thing, like, I will always criticize what the leader says, and be suspicious, and doubt them, and I'll check the video and say, oh no, I... I think it's actually this, according to the video. But a lot of people like doing it just like, oh, they don't remember what a move is? Okay, like they're gonna set it as something. But I hate, I hate setting it to something that's wrong. Because I think that, to me, covering means I have to do things exactly correctly. If I'm not doing it exactly the same way, then I'm doing it wrong. Plus, it's like, who am I to, who am I to think that I can fix something and make it look better than what they do, as opposed to doing it the way they do it? Like, I think if you think that you want to change something so that it looks better, um, like you're being really, you're not respecting what they're, what the artists are doing. So that's why I would never do that. But most people won't have a problem with that. They just set it as whatever the leader wants. It's mostly just me arguing. I'm not gonna cut my hair that much. I'm gonna cut it like a little bit, like a trim. Like especially the, the back a little bit and maybe the sides a little bit, like here. So that it is a good length for my performance. Yeah, I'm performing at the LA Korean something festival on October 5th. I'm not sure what my favorite cover of myself is. There's nothing that's good enough. I 
I mean, I kind of, I kind of like my, my fire performance at last year's LAKFF, so that was probably my favorite performance ever that I've ever done. It was really nice because we had like a back screen too, and it closed up to our, it closed up on us, and we had like a cool fire background with secretly K-pop stars on it, and we had a really nice crowd, so. I felt like I was on M Countdown or something. Yeah, my mom was behind me. Um, she knows I do this, so she just trolls. You guys love my mom, huh? Yeah, my mom's kind of... My mom's kind of childish sometimes. Sorry, I can't read Korean or Arabic. All these comments about how cute my mom is, okay. I guess you can say that. You can go to the- for choreos on Monday. Monday night you can go to, to the workshop. The workshop is not the audition. The audition is on Thursday. And you can go to the audition too if you want to, even if you're not gonna audition. So you can show up at the audition, but... You're just gonna be sitting there. I guess you can kind of dance along a little bit on the side, but I don't know why you would want to go to the audition. The best place to eat on campus at UCLA? I don't know. I like beef plate breakfast. Beef plate breakfast and beef turkey sandwiches with only the meat and the vegetables if your parents don't support your dancing i don't know just do it sometimes i follow people and i regret it but then most times i just keep following them because i I don't know, cause I'm a, cause I'm a wuss. I don't know. It's too much. Like people, people take it too personally. Like, if I unfollow someone, it's not because I hate them or anything. I just legitimately don't care enough to see their posts on my feed. Like if people were just, if everyone were like me and they didn't care as much, or they didn't take it so personally, then. I would be willing to unfollow people more. But I think um at some point I'm going to start I'm going to I'm going to make a story saying that I'm going to unfollow people um depending on some criteria and then I'll do it. So that'll be in the future. I think my mom went to go eat or something. When I'm not dancing, I don't have that much free time, but I might watch anime or read manga or listen to podcasts or watch like science videos. I don't know. Hang out with friends, rarely. My favorite anime, I always recommend this, so if, you, if you're looking for an anime recommendation, I highly recommend um, something called Shinsekai Yori. I think it's also called From the New World. Um, it's, not a, it's not like a super well-known one, but it's really, really good. So I highly suggest that.
I can't wait for the badminton anime to finish. Jesse, Jesse is in here telling me to go to the social. Mm. Should I go to the social? But that means I need to drive all the way to UCLA again. Corios is having the last social of the year, but they're gonna do. <clears throat> they're gonna have alcohol, and I don't like alcohol. I mean, I just don't like driving, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go tonight. I played singles in tennis. I was singles one my senior year. Okay, if you're 13, you cannot join Choreo, so you have to be at least 18. I get to meet my ults, but I have to act cute and give up peanut butter for a week. Yeah, if I get to meet Yu Hyun, I can, I can give up peanut butter for a week and do some egg yo. I would do that for Yu Hyun. No problem. You're auditioning soon. Um, you should, you should pretend that you're the best. I've been dancing for three years. You're seeing Ellen and Brian perform this weekend? Um, I don't know where they're performing, but that's nice. It's okay. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be that much. LA KFF is, is free, I think. It's just a festival in LA. Can I do the Nico Nico Knee? No. That's already on Patreon, okay? If you're a patron, you can ask me for it. I can't play Killing Me because that would kill my life. LA KFF stands for LA... LA Korean something festival I think I would actually want to be a lawyer if like that would be a career choice for me but I chose not to every job has its pros and cons Okay, like you guys think my mom is always trolly and and like and like cutesy like that. She's actually not. She's being fake for camera. If you're if you're auditioning and you're nervous, then just practice so hard that that you can feel like you're the best. You should use auditions as a as a chance to like show off. I mean, I know it's hard, but whatever. Deal with it. My bias in NCT, that should be obvious. Yeah, I, like if you follow if you follow a bunch of people, there's no way you're going to see all their content. I watch K drama sometimes if it's if it's like really hyped up, but I don't watch that many K dramas. Plus, I don't have that much time. It's really hard to have time for me. There's um, a K drama I really like this year is called Fight My Way. You should guys you guys should go watch that drama. It's just a really good drama. It's a more genuine drama than a lot of other dramas with better story and characters. I don't have a GOT7 bias, sorry. I like playing singles in tennis because I don't like relying on, the, on other people. Even when you play singles in tennis, you rely on someone because you need to, play, you need to practice against someone else who doesn't suck or who isn't like so good that 
you just get crushed. That's why I like dancing. I think, I think dancing is the best because I don't need to dance with anyone else. I can dance by myself. I can get better by myself, and I'm not, I'm not gonna get restricted by how good someone else is. So, I really like dancing because it's the most independent physical activity that involves mastery. You can't believe you're listening to a GOT7 song in a Boris live? Yeah. Lullaby is an okay song. I can deal with it. I used to play piano and guitar, but I stopped. It's not worth. My my body and my voice are my instruments. Even though they're not good enough yet. I need to upgrade the quality of my instruments. What am I gonna do for the upcoming holidays? I don't what holidays are coming up. I'm probably just gonna dance a lot. If you donate thirty dollars, would I lie for an hour playing All Star on loop? Wait, what's All Star on loop? I'd probably do that. I don't know, maybe. Depends. Um. My hair is just weird right now because I slept with. I slept with slightly wet hair yesterday. Hmm. This song is called, um. I forgot what it's called. Crap. It's the Produce 48 song, sung by the 20 members of the finals. The drama is called Fight My Way, as in like, fight my way. The Heirs? I don't think The Heirs was a good drama. The Heirs was, the Heirs was a mediocre drama with very popular um, actors. I watched What's Wrong with Secretary Kim and it was okay. It wasn't like super amazing though. Laughter and Wakiki? Yeah, maybe I'll watch that. You can D DM it to me. I also, I watched Prison Playbook too. It was okay, because um, the girl I was dating at the time said she liked Prison Playbook, so then um, I watched it, and it was okay. It was pretty good. Not, not like super, super good though, but it was more, um, it was more well-developed and planned than a lot of other dramas. Because a lot of dramas are just like, like, rich guy, poor girl, some unrealistic thing happens and then they fall in love. And then they do stupid things together. That's the main plot of most dramas. So, I like when dramas are not like that. The dark humor in Prison Playbook isn't even that bad. Like, that's not- that's like baby dark humor. Because for me, um, I can take anything, like... Like, I can watch anything, and I'd be entertained. Um, like, there can be... Like, you can have, um... Like, people dying everywhere, blood splattering everywhere, um, like, babies getting thrown into fires, like, people's limbs getting cut off, like things like that. That's like dark humor that I don't mind. I'm not, I'm really not bothered by anything like that. The only thing I really don't like is like, I don't like seeing, like when I, when I see it in anime or manga, like when, when there's like rape going on or like when there's, when like, when, when there's like a rape situation or like someone got raped and then, and then they're just like dead or something like that. I'm really bothered by that. I like, I hate, I hate the idea of rape so much. Like, why would you do that? That's so, s I mean, I know why people do it, but like, I hate, I hate rape. But 
Then again, like if a character is raped in a, in a manga or an anime, it, it makes a really big impact on the story. So I guess it's useful, but it just gives me like a like a grossed out feeling. Cause it's, and it's always like, it's always the really fat, ugly, old men who do the raping. In all these shows, so it's just gross. You were at the BTS concert the same day and didn't see the story until after. Unlucky. The song All Star? What's the song All Star? Is it that- is it that song from like the 2000s? Twice or Dreamcatcher? Dreamcatcher, obviously. I'm hard to figure out. Couldn't care less vibes, but... Yeah, I think I'm definitely super independent. Um, as much as I can be. I don't really rely on people. Like, I don't rely on my parents either, unless... Other than just like, because they had to raise me because I don't have money, you know, when I... Like, when I'm... As I grow up, I don't have money. I, I can't support myself financially, so of course my parents... I'm dependent... I'm literally financially dependent on my, on my parents. But... I think within a few years, I'll be completely independent of my parents. Um, and then I will... Be even more independent. I think it's not that easy to make me laugh, or it's not that easy to entertain me because um, usually I already thought of a lot of things, so nothing's really that much of a surprise. Sometimes people do, but most times it's just um, like meh. Like I'll be I'll be mildly entertained by by certain things, but I won't laugh out loud that much. I haven't watched Are You Human 2. I watched Healer and it was okay. <coughs> Too many drama recommendations. You guys should just DM them to me. I already have a bunch of shows I need to watch, so... I don't have enough time to watch all these shows. I don't know what my favorite line is from a song. I think Descendants of the Sun was okay, but it wasn't that good. It had good um, aesthetics and soundtrack. Mm. I think I'm catching up. I'm just reading all the comments. What are my pet peeves? I don't know, I have a lot of pet peeves. When people drive slowly in front of me. When people use fillers too much, like like. I know I have that problem too. Sometimes I use like too much, but I'm trying to stop doing it. Um, what else? Oh, I mean, it really peeves me when people, when people try to claim that a move is correct without evidence, without video evidence. It's okay, meeting me isn't that important. I'm not a big deal. Your goal in life is to make me laugh? Okay. Good luck. It's not that hard. The Good Doctor? Um. I watched the Good Doctor Korean drama, it was okay. It wasn't amazing. A lot of dramas, the problem is they're too dragged out and they take too long. For editing, I just use InShot on my phone. I'm too lazy to edit that much. Okay, you guys, if you want to recommend anime to me, like you better recommend me some anime that are really really unheard of because I've watched or read most of the anime and manga that are popular that I want to 
So like people were like, oh, you should watch Boku no Hero Academia. It's really good. Like really, I I read the manga before the anime came out, like way long ago. People were like, you should watch Attack on Titan. You should watch Boku no Hero Academia. You should watch all these popular shows that you probably already watched. Yeah, so I'm gonna probably go dance. And I need to review Best of Me, Fake Love, and Idol. Um, hopefully I don't suck on Friday. I've already watched Golden Time. Jeno or Jamin? Jen or uh, Jamin. Have I watched Free? I did, but I don't. It was a waste of time. Free is just like.